Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out the October C release bug fix update for Windows 11 version 22H2, which is an optional update. And it's KB5031455. And they pushed this out um, late yesterday in my region on the 26th of October. Now, first of all, just to mention that this does not include the 23H2 feature update. This is an optional bug fix without 23H2. And if we don't see 23H2, the annual feature update, if we don't see that roll out next week, Tuesday, the 31st, then I would say that we would see the 23H2 feature roll out throughout the course of next month, November. And if you want more info regarding uh, 23H2, I have posted a whole lot of videos recently. So just do a search um, on the channel. Now, something else to take note of is that this update will include the Moment 4 features if you didn't install this update, KB5030310, which rolled out near the end of last month, September. And the Moment 4 features started rolling out with this update, moved into the Patch Tuesday update um, earlier this month. And now, if you hadn't um, received those features yet, then this update will start including those features now for all. And that's, of course, if you do have this toggle turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Now, when it comes to the Moment 4 features, I have posted a whole video on all of the new features. And um, I'll leave that down below because obviously um, that was a full video going through step by step most of the new highlights that Microsoft did roll out. So go check that out if you are interested uh, in the Moment 4 features. We have covered, covered that quite in depth on the channel previously. Now, because this is an optional update, it does include non-security quality improvements. And uh, the update itself brings one new feature. And that's regarding the dynamic lighting, which rolled out with Moment 4, by the way. And um, the update adds new customization options for dynamic lighting OEM. So that's original equipment manufacturers. And they can now customize OS images for new PCs. And this includes setting up dynamic lighting defaults. And while we are with a dynamic lighting, there's um, also a bug fix update that addresses an issue that is affecting uh, dynamic lighting. Apparently the default provider is not applied as expected and this was occurring when you set it up using unattended files. So there we go, a new feature rolling out for dynamic lighting for OEMs and a bug fix for dynamic lighting. Now there are three regional changes um, that this update brings. Um, first of all, the first of three, the update changes the English name of the former Republic of Turkey. The update supports the currency change in Croatia from the Kuna to the Euro and the update supports daylight saving time DST changes in Syria. And then over and above that, we have two memory leaks that have been addressed. So that's a good thing. If memory leaks get addressed, that's always a nice move in the right direction. So that's a bit of a performance boost for Windows 11 version 22H2. And then there are also two fixes rolling out for Windows Firewall. So if you have experienced any issues with Firewall, that should be addressed. And then the update addresses an issue that affects Outlook. Apparently it stopped responding. And it also affects and addresses an, an error that occurs when you print using V4 print drivers. And then just two more to mention. If you are using PowerShell, and that's PowerShell, a version greater than 7.3.1, there is an issue that has been addressed that was affecting any version greater than 7.3.1. So if you have ex experienced any uh, issues with PowerShell running those versions, then that should be addressed. And then the update apparently also improves the performance of the search box experience. Now, something else I have noticed that isn't officially mentioned in the release notes, once again, is if we head to Copilot, which by the way started rolling out with Moment 4, we now get a chat history, which wasn't there previously. So now you have actually have a chat history where you can go back and uh, view your recent chats. And I think that's a nice move. And this is very similar, as mentioned, to Bing Chat, which basically is a web container on the Windows 11 desktop that brings centralized AR and chat history now available, which I think is a nice move. And then something else to take note of is that system components have now got a separate menu. 
So if we head to apps, installed apps, there are no system components found in installed apps anymore. For this now, we head to the system page, we scroll down, and this is now new with this optional bug fix update that is rolled out for October system components. And there we go. So this differentiates all the um, system components from other apps. And I actually think this is a nice move. And um, yeah, we can see Game Bar, Get Out, Microsoft Store, Phone Link, Windows Security, which are all system components. And that's now a new system components page in the and on the system page in the settings app. And I also think that's another nice move. So quite a lot going on uh, with this update, as mentioned. And um, if you want to see the uh, latest build, we just once again head to Winver. Let's just type that in quickly, which is about Windows. And here we go. Windows 11 version 22H2 OS build 2261.2506. That's the latest version and build. And as mentioned, quite a lot going on. And go check that video out because this will include the Moment 4 features if you hadn't received them already. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.